Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering circuit analysis. We have our final problem we're going to do with the summing amplifier configuration. This one is a little bit different, so let's take a look at it for a second. Uh, we have an input 15 volt source, an input, an input 10 volt source, and an input 8 volt source, each driven through a different uh, resistor. So we have 56K, 66K, and 220K. But notice that we also, in addition to those, we have another oddball resistor. This is uh, uh, 600 kilo ohms down here. This one is something that I didn't draw in kind of the general summing amplifier configuration. Usually you have source and resistance, source, resistance, source, resistance. This was not present, so that's different. We have a single feedback resistor, a single load resistor with the output voltage across it and we're trying to find the output voltage. But there's one big, other than this resistor, there's one really big difference here, um, and that is that this uh, in non-inverting terminal on the op amp is not grounded. In every configuration we've done before, uh, that, that non-inverting terminal has been just tied straight to ground. Here, it's tied to a 12 volt source, which has gone, you know, gone on to ground. So this is generally what happens in almost every engineering class. You learn something, like a general case, could be physics, chemistry, whatever. In this case, we're talking about op amps. And I teach you about the summing amplifier configuration. And I say, this is what it looks like. Source, resistor, source, resistor, source, resistor, single feedback resistor. And then we analyze it. And then I say, this is how you use it. And then we do a couple of problems, which we've done in the past, that look exactly like that configuration. And you know how to do it, because we've covered it, right? Then on a test, you get thrown something like this. It kind of looks like what we did, but it's different. So suddenly you're out of your comfort zone because you don't know if you can really use exactly what we've done before. For instance, can you just apply the exact equation that we have, that we have used in the past for this summing amplifier configuration, even though we have a source voltage right here? Can you do it even though you have this resistor here? If I gave you this problem with this guy tied to ground, but we just had the resistance, would you be able to, to do that? Or what if I just take this away and make this part look like, like we expect it to, but just give you the source here? Can we do it that way? So can we use the, the equations that we derive to cover those additional configurations? So my advice to you is, eventually you're going to hit a circuit that is a little bit outside of the mold of what you've, you, you've taught, you've been taught as the cookie cutter configurations, right? So there's two paths down the road. If you can simplify the circuit that you're given to make it look like something that you know is true from our derivations, then do that, okay? Um, then you can, of course, do that. So, but if you can't, if you cannot simplify the circuit using other techniques to make it look like one of the boilerplate, you know, example configurations, then you're